in this video we will talk about different types of microphones hi my name is Sushil Shora Banerjee and welcome to my channel and this is going to be a very one of my favorite episodes because uh, this is a very favorite topic of mine lot like all you people shooting videos one thing always keep in mind that audio is almost more than 50% of the video so if you are making video you should be paying half or more than half of your attention towards the audio and you now microphones whenever we think of audio the first thing that comes in our mind is microphone whether we are singing whether we are making videos like this or uh, we are rapping yo one thing i don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try you can this video i'm going to give a general overview of 10 of the different types of microphones which are there so if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing after the video ends if you like the video please hit the like button and leave a comment it seriously helps the channel man hello 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 mic testing hello microphones we have to understand in one word i'll i'll make you understand in one word what is sound sound yeah what is sound we always think of what is sound what is sound what is sound sounds are wave form just now sound is just this vibration which is captured by this microphone and turned into electrical signal going into this preamp and then we have our audio wave form so sound is nothing a vibration inside the ear and the microphone is a capacitor which converts that acoustic mechanical energy to electrical energy and then is transmitted to the door the software digital audio workstation the audio editing software where we record in the recording studio so there are different types of microphones and different types of microphones has their different purposes no one microphone is perfect for all the situations so everything depends upon this is a very interesting topic man and i will try to explain it to you as simply as possible okay hello check 1 2 3 hello check 1 2 3 pure pani pani so you have seen in recording studios people singing in microphones like this there is some weird thing attached this type of thing they are wearing headphones and in interviews also you have seen people wearing something over here some people are coming like doing something over here hello hello check different microphones used in different purposes i am like sub categorizing the microphones into 10 categories so first category is large diaphragm condenser microphone that is this one so what is a large diaphragm condenser microphone very sensitive microphones which have a very high dynamic range the dynamic range we humans hear is from 20 hertz to 20000 hertz 20 kilohertz so these microphones have a very high dynamic range which gives a very high quality sound but these microphones are very sensitive to the environment if you drop these mics they will be ruined large condenser microphone has a large diaphragm inside which helps you have seen in movies you have seen in recording studios condenser microphones are also very expensive phone like nt1 what are these good for guitars these are good for vocal recording voice overs podcast these are the best mainly recording studios have this type of microphones because these are very sensitive and should be kept in a very sensitive environment these are sensitive to humidity so a control studio environment will be best for this the second type of microphone is a small diaphragm condenser microphone these are like the small pencil microphones which have a good high dynamic range and are used to record cymbals vocals these have a smaller diaphragm number 3 in third category we have dynamic microphones what are diaphragm microphones we have seen in rock concerts or in concerts people singing 
yes these microphones these are dynamic microphones these are really good quality microphones and other things so those microphones who generally stay on stage those microphones are really in mid frequencies they can handle high level of pressure if you like scream in front of a condenser microphone it, you will you can ruin it but they are much more hardy they are good for strong vocals even if you drop a dynamic microphone they will be fine that is why they're best for concerts people tend to drop their microphone i used to drop like i drop everything a lot of things so, mm -hmm. they are also not that much sensitive to outside environment some good examples are Shure SM57 Shure SM58 what 1 2 3 i've gone to 3 now no 4 i think are called ribbon microphones ribbon microphones are highly sensitive microphones they are neither condenser nor dynamic they have got a ribbon like coil inside which vibrates which gives a very good crisp sound which gives a very good uh, like high dynamic sound which are really good for highs they are really good for like acoustic guitars and for cymbals those instrument giving very good nice high frequency sounds but they are very sensitive now you can see only ribbon microphones in very specific studios but they give a really good high quality sound now the fifth category lavalier microphones you have seen in interviews you have seen right now what i'm wearing over here this is called a lav mic or a lavalier microphone are omnidirectional in pattern they capture sound all around and the best thing about this you can attach it in any place and also you can hide it inside the actor so that even when he's acting and delivering the dialogue you can hide the mic inside his shirt or inside his collar so right now i'm attaching it to my iphone and you can even attach it to your smartphone and the camera so lavalier microphones are really good there can be wired lavalier microphone like this one there are also wireless lavalier microphones and lavalier microphones are nowadays widely used for youtube videos or for youtubers for recording dialogues which are next and dubbed the sixth category of microphone is called a shotgun microphone this is a road video mic go shotgun microphone so these are tubular in nature this have a tubular structure and these are highly directional this are made specially so that they can capture the sound right in front of it so this normally rejects the sound which is coming from other parts so that it can capture the dialogue properly normally you have seen in movies in behind the scenes during shooting of a movie that a person is holding a long pole that is called a boom pole and over that boom pole there is a big microphone attached to it so that is a shotgun microphone this is a smaller version of that shotgun microphone in many interviews also you have seen that behind the scene footage that there is a microphone kept like this these microphones give the best results in this scenario because they are very directional like it helps to reject the background noise the side noise so the next type of microphones is bass mics are used for capturing low end so bass mics are ideal for capturing that that low end that bass they are also called kick mics because they are using on the kick drums next number 8 we have multi pattern microphones multi pattern microphones are highly versatile large diaphragm microphones there can be different polar patterns like figure 8 like cardioid or omnidirectional or figure 8 patterns so you can change between those patterns these microphones are very costly and you can see these microphones in highly versatile studios so they are used in recording purposes where according to the need there are switches over here where, where you can change uh, where you can press and change the polar patterns of the microphones there are mainly like two or three polar patterns present in each microphones so right now is time for number nine uh, on number nine we have 
USB microphones. USB microphones are small condenser microphones which are really getting popular nowadays in home studios like this where uh, you don't need a amp, pre-amp or the audio interface you can directly connect the microphone with your computer like this there are blue ears you have seen many podcasters or youtubers using those mics those round blue yeti mics and those small small mic on their desk this is this is not a usb this is an xlr this is a condenser microphone proper large diaphragm condenser microphone which is connected to the preamp via xlr cable and this needs phantom power extra power to function and for purposes like this you can easily use these microphones Oof, like it's monsoon outside have you seen oh such a beautiful weather so last but not the least we have boundary microphones like boundary microphones many people haven't heard of by boundary microphones boundary microphones are used in large conferences theaters when you go to a theater they are just this large mic very heavy large mic which are normally kept on the ground or on the wall in front of the stage facing them these boundary mics are kept so they are capturing that sound so boundary microphones are best for these purposes for conference halls for place their microphones can be uh, categorized in many ways like uh, according to the polar pattern according to the users you can also categorize the microphones under dynamic and uh, condenser microphones so in this video i have uh, like told you like different types of categories or sub categories you can say of different microphones microphones are a very important chapter i there are a lot to learn about microphones because each of these microphones like i was telling you they have different science behind it how they function they have got different polar pattern different magnetic pack pattern in which direction they are capturing the sound at which frequencies are better each microphones are good for uh, different frequencies so that is a much more detailed video this i have covered the basics in very layman's term and very simple terms i have tried to explain it to you that what are the different microphones we normally see so these tens are the categories that are the large diaphragm condenser microphones the small diaphragm condenser microphones dynamic microphones which we see on dynamic microphones then we have seen ribbon microphones which are very sensitive and used in the studio for very specific purposes then we have seen lavalier microphones like the one i'm wearing right now uh which are good for these type of videos or capturing dialogues hmm capturing pilot dialogues for dubbing purposes these are of omnidirectional pattern then we have shotgun microphones which are really good for interviews which are very directional which captures sound in front of the microphone and they rejects the background sound which are coming from the side so that make them ideal for noise cancellation or and uh, capturing the dialogues and for interviews or in movie sets where the the recordings are going outdoors and there are a lot of sounds going around car passing by birds chirping so these mics are the best that people are holding it just over the actor or actress's head and it is only capturing their dialogue not the surrounding sounds then we have talked about multi pattern microphones which are very costly uh, specific microphones which are used in studios in which you can change the polar pattern of the microphones then then we have talked about bass mics which are specifically used to capture low end the bass for kick drums on for bass instruments then and at last we have talked about boundary mics which are very good which are used for very specific purposes to capture sounds in a field or in a theater in a stage or in a big conference hall wherever there is a very big area to cover if you want to know more about any specific microphone and how that works 
you can let me know in the comments down below also let me know in the comments down below which kind of mics you are using right now to record your audio whether you are singing or making videos so thank you for watching if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and please leave a comment down below that will seriously help the channel and 90% of the people watching who haven't subscribed please subscribe very sad i'm not going to sleep tonight if you don't subscribe right now so hit that subscribe button right now right now right now right now subscribe subscribe, subscribe.